welcome students welcome to this sixth lecture of advanced manufacturing process so we are in the unit 1 called non traditional machining process so this lecture we are going to see about the introduction to wire cut edm let's see what are the contents we are going to see in this lecture the first one is introduction to wire cut edm second one is principle of working and the third one is setup of wire cut edm it shortly called as wedm let us go to the introduction to wire cut edm let us see the introduction to wire cut edm so the fundamental principle of metal removal in wire cut edm is the same as that of edm last pre three lectures we saw about the edm process that is a electrical discharge machining this wire cut edm is also follow the same principle in metal removal it employs electrical energy to remove metal from the work piece without touching it so the same principle which used in the normal edm the will that one that only we are adopting here in wire cut edm which employs electrical energy to remove the metal from the work piece so the process can be used only when the work piece has to cut a through hole in it or the cut is to be taken from the outer edge in the work piece through hole suppose through hole means from one end to the other side wherever you need a through hole in a work piece and suppose whenever you have the out, outer edge some metal has to be removed some parts has to be removed some machining has to be happen, uh, has to be uh, done in that area you can go for this wire cut edm so it uses a wire of about 0.3 mm diameter as a tool it's a very small mm diameter the wire electrode is made up of copper or tungsten in normal edm process this electrode will be made uh, made up of same copper or tungsten but which is in different dimensions but uh, but here in wire cut edm we are using the electrode is made up, is in the form of wire okay it is in the form of wire and it is about 0.3 mm diameter the same which used in uh, edm here also we are using the deionized water is used as a dielectric fluid now let's go to the principle of working of wedm that is a wire cut edm how the principle working of wedm is happening first wedm works on the principle that the heat energy generated by the spark is used to remove material from the work piece okay in edm process the spark will produce in edm process the tool is connected to the negative terminal called the cathode and the work piece is connected to the positive terminal called the anode so that when the two terminals are connected and when the dielectric fluid is filled with the filled with the reservoir when the current is supplied so that the spark will produce that spark will generate a heat so that heat is used to remove the material from the work piece so and here in wedm it uses a wire of about 0.3 mm diameter as an electrode or tool and we have a constant gap of gap means the spark gap there is a constant gap of 0.5 mm is maintained between the wire and the work piece with the help of the control system why we are maintaining this constant gap see we are maintaining this constant gap in order to produce a spark between the electrode or the tool with uh, to the work piece if there is no spar no gap or no no gap is maintained between the electrode and the work piece there is no spark will produce you can't able to produce a spark for in order to produce we need to produce a spark we need to maintain a small gap and that gap also will be a optimized gap if it is too closer to the work piece means no spark will produce and if it is too far that if the gap is too uh, bigger means that time also no spark will it means no conduction will happen between the tool and the work piece and the wire is continuously moved at a constant speed through the work piece a dielectric fluid is constantly flushed in the area of machining 
this follows the same as what was happening in the EDM process. So when the machine tool is switched on, when the machine tool is switched on, sparks are generated between the tool and workpiece. So when the spark comes in contact with the dielectric fluid in the gap, the fluid gets ionized. Okay, and it allows the current to flow between the tool and the workpiece. It means same the RC circuit in the EDM process. When the capacitance uh, reaches the breakdown voltage, uh, what happens? The dielectric which presents in, in between the gap, presence in the spark gap between the tool and the workpiece get ionized. That, uh, that makes the dielectric to act as a conductance, conductor. See, the dielectric term means it having a two property, two electric property, one as an insulator and one as a conductor. So when the when the capacitor reaches the breakdown voltage means what happened the dielectric will act as the conductor that time it will conduct the electricity so that it will flow it will conduct the uh, it may it become ionized and it allows the current to flow between the tool and the workpiece so that heat generated during the sparking process result in melting of the workpiece. When heat is generated, it will result in melting of our piece. It means the heat generated means it will, have a, it will be generated to a very high temperature of 8000 to 10,000 degrees Celsius. And these melted particles of the metal are then driven away by the dielectric fluid. So these metal particles of the metal, met, melted particles of the metal are then driven away by the dielectric fluid fluid yes by using the same dielectric fluid this removed metal particle will 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 move away or driven away from the workpiece and in order to create the desired shape on the workpiece the table motions are controlled by the position unit positioning unit or control system so if you want to create a uh, if you want to uh, create a desired shape you you have to you have to move the workpiece which is kept on the table in a desired position location that which controlled by the positioning unit or the cnc unit so this is how the layout of the uh, wire cut edm process see this electrically charged wire is guided with the wire guides and this is the wire spool okay you have to continuously send this wire to the workpiece you can see this is the workpiece and we are continuously flushing the dielectric fluid also you can see the magnificent uh, image of the the wire wire the spark gap and the cut so this is the wire diameter it means 0.3 mm diameter up to 3 mm diameter and you have to maintain a small spark gap so that the spark will produce and in this gap only the dielectric fluid fills so that when the capacitance get reach the breakdown voltage the dielectric will ionize and it uh, it allows the current to flow from the wire to the workpiece so that spark will produce and this spark makes uh, generate the high heat through that heat only the metal will melted from the surface of the workpiece. Now let's go to the setup of the EDM. So the basic elements involved in wire cut EDM process are as follows. What are the basic elements? The first system, first thing is the power supply system. Second thing is the dielectric system. And the third is the CNC control system. Fourth is a wire drive system. So these are the four basic elements involved in a wire cut EDM process. One is the first power supply system. Then is the dielectric system, a CNC control system and the wire drive system. Let's go one by one. First come to the power supply system. First the workpiece is mounted on the table. Then the tool is connected to the negative terminal so that it becomes a cathode. Tool means here the wire is acting as a tool or the electrode. 
then the while the workpiece is connected to the positive terminal and becomes anode okay so the same time the workpiece is connected to the positive terminal and becomes anode so one question will arise for a for both edm and wire cut edm we have to go for only the electrical conductor metal only we can go for machining or otherwise if you go for wood or any plastics or any polymers that metals or that material will not conduct electricity so that the spark will not produce it means so that the current will not flow from tool to the workpiece okay so that we can't go for the uh, plastics polymers or wood materials then the tool and workpiece is connected to a dc power supply a supply is in the form of a pulse a voltage of about 50 volt is applied to the system okay then however because of very small wire size it cannot carry current more than 30 amps okay here we are using a very small wire 0.3 mm so it cannot hold the current of more than 30 amps or otherwise the wire get melted and uh, it is no use of our machining and next come to the second uh, basic element of the wire cut edm is it is a, a dielectric system here we are using deionized water as a dielectric fluid okay deionized water or demineralized water uh, which is used as a dielectric fluid it gives high metal removal rate and better surface finish by using this dielectric fluid it gives a high metal removal rate and better surface finish means it will flush out the metals material or metal particles which removed from the surface which is flush out from the surface of the materials by using this dielectrics third a nozzle is employed to inject the dielectric fluid in the machining area okay see so a nozzle is given uh, or employed in the surf, in the machine so that it will directly inject to the inject to the machining area so for that then only it can flush out the the removal materials from the surface and here both the workpiece and the wire are constantly flushed with the dielectric fluid at the area being machined because this dielectric also serves as a coolant means here in that machining area high very high temperature is produced due to the spark okay so at the same time this dielectric is act as a insulator conductor and the same time it is used to flush out the uh, machining materials from the workpiece and the fourth thing this, uh, this dielectric is also uh, act as a coolant to remove the heat or to transfer the heat from the machining uh, machining area to the uh, to the um, uh, other surface to the outer area okay so these are the some of the functions of the dielectric fluid now let's come to the cnc control system this cnc control system is used for the movement of work table so this computer numerical control uh, coding control system is used for the movement of the work table in order to have a desired shape this movement is necessary and the table movement has table has a movement in two axes either in uh, x and y axis or in a, uh, z axis and the table can also be moved in both the directions simultaneously for taking contouring cuts okay so in this same table can move in both the directions okay if you want to need to take contouring cuts in this table can also be able to move in a, both the direction now come to the fourth basic element uh, in the setup of wire cut edm is the wire drive system the three functions of wire drive system what are the three functions first thing is to feed the fresh wire for machining that is called the wire feed mechanism continuously we have to feed the fresh wire the thing is um, when the when the once the wire is feed into the system uh, while during the machining process the spark is produced from the wire so it will produce uh, the wire will get eroded it means the wire will also get eroded 
so that we need to continuously feed the fresh wire for machine second thing to take up the used wire so this driving mechanism uh, handles not only to feed the fresh wire and also need to take up the used wire and to keep the wire under appropriate tension so that it moves in the machining area as a straight wire you we need to give we need to maintain the wire in a appropriate or optimum tension or otherwise if you give a too much tension the wire may get a chance there is a chance which will which may create the wire to cut the wire which may create the wire to break okay so that we need to keep the wire under appropriate tension and the moreover this up, once in appropriate tension only we can go for the smooth surface finishing and the smooth uh, the desired cut we can we can go machining in the workpiece now let's see the wire drive system see during operation when supply is made on the dielectric fluid gets ionized and it results in melting of the workpiece okay the same time this wire is used only once because due to sparking which takes place at the surface of the wire the wire no longer remains round yes when the supply is on the dielectric fluid gets ionized and the spark will produced and the current will flow between the electrode and the workpiece through this dielectric and the spark will produce once the spark is produced and the machining process happening now the wire will not become a, uh, is not in a uh, is not in a accurate uh, round surface because after the spark is produced the wire will get uh, some metals will be eroded from the wire also so that wire we can't use that wire also be uh, that wire uh, we have to uh, in the in the that wire we have to roll roll back roll back in the in a in a other mechanism okay so now let's come to the summary so here we saw about the introduction to wedm this wedm is same about the edm process the one main difference is that we are using wire in but in edm process normal edm process we are using a different electrode which produce sparks and which are uh, here also the wire also will be a electrically conductive element and we saw about the principal working of edm what, what are the principal working we saw about and third one is the setup of edm we saw that the four setups of edm that is the four setups are called power supply system and the dielectric system and the cnc system and and the wire drive system and this is the reference for this syllabus this lecture and thank you students thank you for watching this uh, lecture we'll see in the next lecture